First of all, all this mess is because I've been power washing my, my porch, my back porch. I've been power washing it because it hadn't been done in a long time and then I'm going to stain it, all this kind of stuff, but whatever, that's besides the point. I got a package from Dynamic Discs. We're going to open this up. I'm going to show you guys what it is. I'm really excited about it and I know you guys are going to be too. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this thing. We got a basket. All right, so here's the cage. And then this is the stand so that it's portable. So we're gonna be able to hook a wheel on right here, I believe. And then this mount is obviously heavy enough. Um, and we'll be able to roll it around and stuff. the basket all set up in the back corner um, it's a really nice basket it's super stable it's the Patriot basket um, but here you go check out some close-ups of it All right, so I am inside now. Uh, I recorded that video yesterday, but uh, just a couple seconds, you guys are gonna see me just throwing around in the backyard um, and all this kind of jazz, you know, messing around with a new basket. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, it's gonna help me practice, help me uh, obviously get a lot better because as you guys have seen from videos, putting is definitely somewhere where I lose some strokes. Um, and so if we can get more consistent there, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Um, I've only used the basket for 
a couple hours now, um, probably maybe a total of an hour. Um, it's made really, really well. Um, Dynamic Disc has done an amazing job working on that. Um, if you guys are looking for a basket, it is definitely a good one, especially if you want it to be stationary and stay there for a long time. Obviously, you can buy cheaper ones that you want to throw in your trunk and travel around with you and all that kind of stuff. But if you play disc golf a lot and you've got a backyard where you can um, make circle one putts and circle two putts, um, then I would definitely say get a basket that you want to leave out there that you can maybe even install into the ground, something like that. Um, obviously, it is a little bit more expensive um, because it is higher quality and it can withstand the elements. Um, but again, if you want to buy a cheap one that you can just throw in your, your not necessarily cheap, if you want to buy a less expensive one to throw in your trunk, you can definitely do that. I've had one of those in the past and those are super cool because you can just throw it up before a tournament or whatever it may be. Um, but why don't you guys go ahead and check out me just messing around, putting, throwing at it, having some fun. I definitely want to try and do some trick shots like out back or just some long putts, maybe from the front yard over the house or uh, from the roof, whatever. Definitely going to have a blast doing that as well. But go ahead and check out the rest of this. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Seriously, um, I've been having so much fun doing all these disc golf videos because I really enjoy it. Um, it's so much fun to get out in nature. Um, and just feel the breeze and to throw and, and, and do stuff. I've really, really, really been enjoying it. So if you guys have been enjoying it, um, of course, make sure you li leave a like, comment down below, and let me know uh, what you've been enjoying about the videos. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at some putts. I could be wrong, you might not be safe, but we'll see. Welp, that's going to be it. Hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out and uh, watching me goof off in the backyard trying to make it in from like 60, 70 feet or so. Um, obviously, those those can be real scenarios, but I don't know if I would go for those shots if I didn't have a fence behind the basket. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to overshoot it too much. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun playing with it. I'm probably going to go out in just a bit uh, and practice some more. Um, I'm excited for the basket. I think that it's going to make me a better player for sure. It's going to help me figure out my putting stance. Oh, also, I've got a question. If you guys think you would like this video, I want to make a video uh, imitating pros putting styles. Uh, I think it'd be hilarious uh, and it'd be a lot of fun. So I'm, that's just an idea that I had as I've watched like Joe Mets Pro and all those things, watching people 
putt, I think it'd be funny to uh, kind of imitate all the different putting styles that there are because there's so many different ones uh, out there, which is really uh, funny to me, honestly. But it just shows it's all about comfort. Um, and I'm realizing that putting, uh, straddle putting and, and throwing from between my legs is way more comfortable than the way that I was doing it before. So I'm definitely practicing that. Definitely going to get better at that. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you look out for the next round that I'm going to be posting. I recorded that the other day. Um, I'm not going to be able to post every day on this channel, obviously. Uh, probably, I don't know. Now that I have a basket, maybe we can do some more stuff. But probably around two times a week, some something along those lines. Um, so I'm going to save that one for a couple days from now. So make sure that you guys look out for it. But either way, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah, see you guys in the next episode.